Hey everyone, I am Cool Guy, and for my intro, you're going to be seeing some Halo footage in the background, because if you couldn't tell from my previous video, I'm a huge Halo fan. Always have, always will be, so I thought I'd throw it out there. Now, I feel like I have to thank you guys again. More likes, more subscribers, PMs, saying how much I've helped you, and that's huge, because that's, you know, that's what I want. So, whether it be the Crucible tips or the Shuros Regime trick, I'm really glad you guys are seeing results, and it means a lot that you guys are actually coming out and telling me that it's helped you. That means so much. Again, thank you. I mean, that Suros video is almost at 8,000 views. I never would have thought that. Thank you. And a special shout out goes to a guy named Sensei Ghostly. Now he found me on Bungie.net, he saw a video of mine, really liked it. He went to my page and saw that it was kind of ugly, you know, because I, I don't know how to do YouTube art or anything like that. So out of the kindness out of his own heart, he made all the channel art for my page for free. Thank you so much, man. That's huge. And I thought I'd throw it out, it's Friday the 14th, you know, of November. It's Zer Day. He's selling the last word. You guys need to get this gun. It is brutal. It's everything I thought it would be. So. Gather up the coins, make another account, whatever you gotta do, do heroics, farm coins, get this gun before it's gone. But today, we're gonna get in the video, we're gonna be talking about episode 2 of my gun series. And this is how to get the Stranger's Rifle to 300. Now, it's no glitch, we're not actually gonna get the Stranger's Rifle to 300. But, as I discussed in a previous video, every Legendary is a product of an original, and I have found them. First one is the Crucible Quartermaster's Strange Suspect. Stranger's Rifle, Strange Suspect. <laughs> Now, the perks on this gun, I mean, we'll go over the sights like I, like I did with, in the other video so you can see them all. But the first one is glass half full, bottom half of the magazine does additional damage, hammer forged, flared mag well, snapshot, and then hip fire. Now, the second one is found at the Vanguard Quartermaster. It's the bad seed down. Now, when you compare it right off the rip, you can see the similarity, and it's almost the same gun. You can actually get hammer forged for that bad seed down to get that range almost right on par to be almost the same exact gun. And again, we'll go over the lenses, but it has a secret round. That's very cool. We'll talk about that. It has hammer forged, skip rounds, eh, snapshot, and also has hip fire. That secret round, it, it actually shoots a fourth burst out of the three burst pulse if you miss a shot, which, you know, that's helped me out. Now, if you play around with range stability reload like I, I'm doing right now, you can, you can see the similarities. But the main thing, like we've discussed about these legendaries, is you can take them into bigger content. Because that was one of the main knocks about that stranger's rifle you couldn't i mean it has it maxes out at 215 it, right now this one has 209 attack you couldn't take it to atheon you couldn't take it into nightfall boss you could you could try but it wouldn't be that fun so here's glass half full with 288 damage on this strange suspect you see that you know it goes up and up and up i have a 162 critical hit let's go to the stranger's rifle let's see what it does i don't know if you guys have ever tried this it does high 60s and the critical is 102 so it's just not doing it now these two guns are the closest you're going to get to the Stranger's Rifle. Yes, they look different. Yes, they sound different, but they feel the same. And that's the important thing. Now, both of these legendary rifles do have a 10 round clip, so 30 shots, or 10 shots, 30 round clip. Stranger's Rifle has seven shots in a 20 round, 21 round clip. It does have rewind, the Stranger's Rifle does, where ammo the EMS comes directly back in the magazine. And right now, here, I'm just going to show you the three sights. You can read them and go along because I like to show the sights because that's huge, a part of a gun. You can see how the recoil pattern looks for each sight in some sights you know, you may not like. And the bad seat down has one that I hate. And I'll, believe me, I'll discuss it. So all three of these guns have a rate of fire of 66 and an impact of 14. Strangers, rifle, strange suspect, bad seat down. And I get this off of destinytracker.com. It's from the same guys that brought you halotracker.com. This site is phenomenal. You guys should go there, check it out. You can check how, you know, how many kills you have, how many deaths you have, how many orbs you've gathered, how many orbs you've picked up, and it gives you a percentile of how you match up in the world, what percentage you are in. You can also look at PvP boards like Twilight Gap, Bastion, Firebase Delphi, and you can see your KD for each map. And this is huge because I could look at it and say, all right, you know what, Twilight, this is the truth. I look at Twilight Gap, I have, out of all the maps, I have the lowest KD on that board. So that means I can look at it, know that I need to attack that map a little bit differently next time I go in, maybe, maybe try to find a different routine that I can get into. So again, try that out, destinytracker.com. It's great. You can also look at different guns and also all the random perks you can get on guns, all the random rolls that could make up a gun. And that's going to be a future video. But here's that third side I was telling you about that I don't like, because there's a huge difference between actual recoil and visual recoil. And a good example is a hand cannon. The actual recoil of the gun is low. It shoots straight, but the visual recoil shoots straight up. That's why I don't like this side on the bad seat down, because it, it kind of goes un unnecessarily all over the place. So again, thank you guys for your continued support. I have a couple videos coming up about the perfect uh, the perfect roll, what it means to you, because I have two guns that rolled perfectly for me, and I'm going to showcase them off to you guys. And also, another trick tip on how I shoot some automatics. There's a particular way I shoot them, and maybe you can put it in your arsenal. Again, thank you so much for your continued support, guys. More videos coming out soon. I am Cool Guy.